Whether your budgie is blue, green, white, yellow, or any other color, all owners can admit one thing, birds are lovely creatures that can create a wide smile on your face. Any owner can tell when the bird is behaving unusually. So what happens when you find your beloved budgie bleeding? There is no doubt you'll feel hurt as if you're the one in pain. Many things can cause your bird to bleed, and if you don't act on time, you may lose it. Trauma is a common cause for bleeding in budgies, yet the most unthought of when it comes to making a diagnosis. Most parakeets bleed due to minor trauma, which is easy to treat. A traumatized bird will have bleeding wing edges, beaks, and toenails. It's easy to assume that the bird is bleeding because it's injured, while in the real sense, blood loss ties back to stress. Therefore, you'll have to be keen to pick out this signal so that you may manage the bleeding according to the root cause. Bite wounds or cuts are mostly due to trauma, but in some cases, it's due to self-mutilation. Bites may appear to be nothing to worry about, yet it's among the situations that require immediate treatment. Cats are on the list of your bird's killers. They transmit a deadly bacterium known as Pasteurella, and birds cannot survive for more than 24 hours if they get infected with it. If your bird gets bitten, you'll have to call an avian vet. Otherwise, your bird won't make it if the infection spreads throughout the body. No one needs to clarify that fractures make the bird bleed. However, some fractures are challenging to diagnose due to blood spreading from the affected part to elsewhere on the bird's body. The bleeding may be easier to handle if the affected surface is smooth. Fracture of the liver, spleen, or kidney is a life-threatening situation for the bird. Internal bleeding is the greatest challenge, and immediate action will be required to save the bird's life. It's not so new to see a budgie plucking its feathers. It does so when stressed, and it's not so obvious to know the underlying cause. It could be parasites, allergy, insufficient fresh air, boredom, hormones, disease, infection, or merely a bad habit that needs to stop. Plucking feathers make the bird bleed like any other wound, but the bleeding involved in this case is minimal and easy to stop. What should you do to protect your bird from bleeding? No parakeet owner would want to hurt its bird. However, it's possible to cause pain unintentionally. Some actions may seem harmless, but damaging to your budgie. If you want to protect your bird from risks of bleeding, observe the following. While it may be necessary to hold your bird firmly to perform certain procedures, it's important to keep in mind squeezing is never acceptable. Parakeets, like other birds, have a delicate body system. Squeezing them too much can break their bones, damage their organs, and pose other serious problems that can lead to death. Keep it safe by not putting a lot of pressure on its body. Naturally, birds find pleasure in biting or picking objects like rings, necklaces, and other accessories. The owner will often allow it to play with earrings or any other thing that appears irresistible to the bird. Doing this may put your pet bird in danger if the object is sharp. Instead of handling the pet when you're fully accessorized, wear no jewelry or other accessories. What should you do when your budgie starts to bleed? Pet parenthood is quite a journey. No matter how careful you are with your bird, an accident will always occur. And when it does, you should be ready for it. Learning basic first aid skills and having the needed tools will save you in a great way. Prepare a first aid kit. When it comes to an emergency, immediate action can guarantee life or death. Having a first aid kit for your bird keeps you equipped in case of unexpected events. As a prepared owner, you should have the following. A towel, bandages, cotton balls, styptic powder, hydrogen peroxide, iodine, antibacterial pet wound spray, scissors, nail clippers, heating pad, budgie carrier. Minor injuries like cuts, beak chips, or broken nails have minimal bleeding that stops bleeding fast. It's required that you stay calm 
no matter how tense you are when you notice your bird is wounded. Anxiety can scare the bird and worsen its condition. Once you discover a wound on the body, follow this procedure. Carefully apply pressure to the small cut with a clean gauze pad. Make sure you do not compress its chest to avoid suffocating it. The bleeding will start to subside within 10 minutes. Let the bird be calm for a while and confirm your budgie is back to its usual self. If it's not acting normal, you'll have to seek advanced treatment from professionals. If toenails are bleeding, stop by applying styptic powder to the damaged area. Alternatively, you can use flour or baking soda, however it'll be less effective. The second step is putting pressure on the affected spot using a clean cloth until the bleeding stops. It's essential to be cautious while treating the bird. Your mission is to relieve it from pain, so don't do anything that'll add agony to it. How do you know the right vet for your bird? Whom you take your budgie to matters. Remember that you'll need someone qualified and the one you can trust to save your pet's life in emergencies. Have a permanent vet to help you with pet parenthood. This way, it'll be easier to make a diagnosis of your bird because he or she already knows its history. They should be knowledgeable in pet bird medicine, experienced and licensed. Is it normal to have blood in a budgie stool? Blood does not always show itself on the bird's external body. The stool is another way of showcasing bleeding and it indicates a severe condition. If you rarely look at your bird's poop, it may be difficult for you to discover your pet is sick. So, from now on, make sure you have a look at your budgie's droppings. After all, it's not that scary to make it impossible to have a glance. Budgies are food lovers. You should get scared if it suddenly changes its feeding habit. Not eating for a short time frame may not be an issue, but if it stays for more than 12 hours, that's an alarm for a serious situation. If your bird begins to reject the food, try to feed it anything. You can give it peanut butter, yogurt, baby food, or whichever food it likes. If you still fail to get it to eat, visit the vet as soon as possible. Often, you'll notice your budgie seems uneasy around new faces or other pets. It may be due to minor discomfort, but if it shows rapid breathing, body weakness, or unconsciousness, the situation is bigger than you think. Shock requires instant attention. Ensure the bird is warm and keep it away from sudden movements while handling it. A bird usually takes four to six hours to recover from the shock. Always call your vet if you suspect your budgie is bleeding or experiencing any illness. watch next, previous video, or top 5 budgie care tips for beginners. Visit our official webpage for more information and budgie care.